Danielism. Life and Stuff 7. Yeah. So we, uh, we get on with life. You know what I mean? Sit in my room, doing these vids. Having a smoke. Getting a grub, a bit of tea and coffee throughout the day. Chowing down on some toast and stuff. Mum makes for dinner, so that's, that's handy. And chilling out, doing my work on me, me car I had in my no hype for getting on with things. Getting on with stuff, so that's what my Danglism project is supposed to doing as well. Danglism is about my life, I guess. A Daniel's life. Daniel the Prophet had a life. He's got his book of Daniel. Daniel chapter 7, the everlasting kingdom of God. The everlasting kingdom of God, where, he, where the saints take on the beast. <laughs> War with the saints. Probably not quite like that. But wars come and wars go. Glories come and glories go, and life goes on. The Book of Daniel's come and the Book of Daniel's potentially can go. I mean, is Israel really going to cut the mustard and go the distance? I don't know. Maybe I don't care. <laughs> No skin off my nose if the Jews disappear. Doesn't really bother me. I've got a copy of the Hebrew Bible, the Old Testament, and I'll keep that for myself. But if Israel disappears as a nation, what the fuck can do? Couldn't care less. They're not my saviors. I don't have any faith in Israel. Abraham's Spam's covenant. No thanks. Got a bit of an interest in this scripture, but Jubilubas, what do you do? Now, no hide phase, you know, no earnest cronies. That's where it's at. So, Danielism has respect for religion, but it's more about regular life. The humdrum of it all, the mundane getting on with a regular day, doing regular things. Life in general. Just life and stuff. Life and the stuff which goes with it. For a regular life, it's, you know, get up, have your food, go to your toilet, do your work, listen to your tunes, Watch your vids. Every now and then a comic or something. And when you've got the extreme patience, get a movie watched. Chat to mum. Get together a family gathering every few months or so. Six months or so. A bit of a family gathering. Email a few people. And jizz my jazz. Structural and eternal life. On it goes. The Adversary. Book 4 of the Saga of the Exiles. The Fervulag are rising while the children of the Metapsychic Rebels race to reopen the Time Gate. The soul escape route back into the galactic milieu. Now the adversary takes up his destined role in the power play. Mark Remillard, defeated leader of the Metapsychic Rebellion, determined to keep the time gate sealed and to create a new race from his own offspring. Will he aid the Fervulag or bring Sucker to Aiken? When the day of a grand tawny comes, will the Tanu and the humans meet the Fervulag in the last great contest of the exile world? Julian, she knew she knew what she was doing. 
she she knew like a writer does how to get an idea out there and to develop it and to get it all down in print and create a product we were generally coherent enough set of ideas extrapolated on a novel a novel work something which is novel she got quite a few novels in her overall plaque in the milieu stuff did a job got the job done it didn't go on forever she can't but she got the job done on a call that was good enough for her. a life worth living i suppose during most life i think so good life I suppose she's in heaven now i suppose in show who knows for sure but Viviversary was top entertainment when I was reading it, and uh, all four books were similar enough books, I think, you know, general. The story got done, and uh, it was good enough reading. I, I was generally entertained with most of the books I was reading back, back in those days, and Viviversary was no exception. It was generally solid, solid enough stuff. Well done, Julian. And that's life, isn't it? That's the stuff which comes in life. Reading books, some of the things we do as well. Getting the knowledge, get that knowledge into you. And use that for a bit of entertainment, food for thoughts. And killing time. And a, lot, a lot of the stuff which comes with life is just killing time.